to a 6A school if you want big competition. My conference, I mean, we've got good players. We've had D1 players in the past, but so, but even then, even then playing lower competition, comparing what I'm, what I did, even my sophomore season, I came to camp here, and then my junior season, it was here, and then it was just all the way up here. So I mean, it's just my game has evolved immensely. What has been the biggest facet of it that has improved? I think I think speed, honestly. Like I was, I think 280 last year, and I ran a uh, I think like a 53 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And on Thursday, I, I'm 310 and I ran a 51. So I mean, speed, quickness, footwork. I think all that has just gone up. And then uh, technique. Like I know a lot of people comment. Because all I had a, a sophomore, I had my sophomore season out for a while, and they commented my hands were down, like I was too far up. So I think technique and hands and footwork have also improved a lot. How important is it getting out here, getting to work with your future coach? It's, I mean, it's probably the most important thing there is, you know? Because, I mean, Coach Day, he coaches the entire offense, entire defense, but Coach Fry, I'm with him almost every single day, every day in practice, in the film room, in the uh, in meetings, so I mean, it's really important trying to get to know him and co coach with him, and play with him. So. Are any things different now that you know you're long time commit now than as opposed to maybe when you were going through the process as as a prospect? You know, prospect, you're just you're fighting for one thing. You're fighting for that offer. Now, as I'm committed, I'm fighting for technique. I'm fighting to get better as Coach Fry wants me. So, what are your thoughts about uh, you know? Not that you have any say in this, but Brian Hartline is now the OC. I mean, do you spend more time talking to Coach Hartline, or is that is it not quite there yet? I mean, meeting-wise, I mean, we, me and him talk. Like, when I was on my official visit, whenever we could sit down, we would sit down in, like, an outside scene. But, like, meetings-wise, uh, no, not really. So. What, was that, you know, what, what was that official visit process like? I mean, it was really just, obviously, I know pretty much, like, <laughs> so my guide – he was like telling us where to go and everything. My dad, he was confused. He was like, why are you ahead of all of us? And I was like, I already know where I'm going. So like, obviously I know everything there is, but it, it's it's building those connections with the recruits, with the coaches. So. What's your favorite part of campus already? I mean, have you found a part? I mean, I, as a football player, you're probably gonna spend almost all your time here, but you know, as you get to explore a little bit more, what, did, what do you like? Uh, to the training room. Uh, I'm a big recovery guy. I mean, I take ice baths after every practice. I'm in there 15, 20 minutes. I come home, I take, I'll take like bi-weekly like hot baths so I'll make it steaming and I, so I'm a big recovery guy, like cold baths, hot baths, so I rotate and uh, so I mean, I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of time in those, in that facility in there. Not everybody can get into those ice baths, it's, 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 is it a learned thing or is it just something that you took right to? It's a breathing thing, I found out, so. You get down, it goes numb after about five minutes, so you just got to breathe your way through those five minutes and then you're fine for the rest of it. That's all I have to do. Yep. Great.